What is up guys, Disco Dracula here, and welcome to the Haunted PS1 Demo Disc 2021. For those of you who don't know what the Haunted PS1 Demo Discs are, it's essentially a, uh, a giant collection of different indie horror games that are specifically uh, made to be like PS1 games or like that low-res graphics. And some of the games, I believe, are made for the Haunted PS1 demo disc. Some, on the other hand, were already released. So, like, in this one, there's 25 different games. And I've played quite a few of them. Like, Janitor Bleeds, I played the demo for that. Chasing Static, I played the demo for that. So, um, there's some of them that I'm not going to touch on just because I've already played them in previous videos. But I'm really excited for this. Um... This is a really cool thing that the Haunted PS1 community does. And it's very cool to have all these indie games, like, thrown together onto, like, a, a demo disc of sorts. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, so this is, like, a wraparound story of sorts, I guess. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Look at that, that's so cool looking. I love it. Alright, we're in some sort of uh, museum, it looks like. Alright, uh, yeah, so... If you guys watched my Dread X Collection video, it, this is kind of similar to Dread X Collections. Um, which I do need to play more of, and the fourth Dread X collection is coming out very soon, so I'll be playing that as well. Hey, buddy. Welcome, friend. Welcome to the museum, you poor unfortunate soul. Here we have exactly what you need. Haunted games birthed from the accursed minds of your world. Lose yourself in them as they pierce through your corneas and into the back of your skull. You may never leave this place, so make the best of it. Oh, and uh, one more thing. No smoking in the museum, and absolutely no dying in the museum. Don't go getting your corpse germs all over everything. <laughs> I fucking love it. Alright, awesome. So... We got that way we can go, or this door. Let's go check over here. Um. Okay, so you need a password for that. Got a nice little pool table. I mean, honestly, like, he said we can never leave here. This isn't bad at all. I mean, you got, like, 25 indie horror games you get to play. You got a computer. We just got to figure out the password. All the books you could ever want. A pool table. These look comfy as hell. Got a bar. Like, shit. I'd totally get fucking stuck here forever. Like, if this was eternity, that is fine. All right, so we're on the ground floor. Let's go to the first floor. All right, so here's some of the games. Um, Ghastly Goodies. Okay, um, so I'm not gonna go through and explain like all of the games for you guys. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and just jump into some of them. So we're going to go for Ghastly Goodies first. Yeah, it'll give us the information here. Um, it's Halloween and that means candy. Play as Peter Sarah and try to avoid the tricks as you gather some treats. Has like a little cartoony looking vibe. I like that. Okay. Is that... Okay, that's not cool. It's like a dragon's freaking head ripped off. Um, how would I get across here? Can I put... 
push that? No. Hmm. Alright guys, so here we are in the Ghastly Goodies demo. I learned from DreadX that these games usually take you to another window, so I had to make sure that it was actually going to be recording in OBS. Alright, um, let's play as Pete. I'm so excited. We're late for the party! This just has such a charm to it. I just... This is awesome. Get out! You can trigger treat from here. Is this my parents, dude? My parents are assholes. Don't do anything stupid. They just dropped me off on the side of the road. Oh, look at me in my little dragon costume. I'm adorable. Free candy. Um, so that's a warning sign right there. If you ever see a free candy sign pointing to an ominous looking castle, stay away from it. So we can go up there. Okay, that is definitely the way we need to go. So let's go here first. The door is boarded up. You'll have to find another way in. Okay. My costume reminds me of Spyro. I don't know if that was done intentionally or not. All right, so we can go that way. Unless you're fond of climbing, you're not getting through here without a way to cut these chains. Well, that fence does look a little tall for uh, my little kid self. All right, I guess we're going this way. What do we got here? A set of suspiciously similar rocks. Interesting. Hmm. We'll come back to that. Another set of suspicious rocks. Okay. Uh, more suspicious rocks. What was that? Landscapers knew. Ran out of budget after three rocks. Beware, not all of them are real. I'm not entirely sure how to tell which ones are real and which aren't. Oh, that one's not real. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is adorable. I, I love this. Alright. There we go. Getting all the candies. Oh, there's a note up there and a candy bar I missed. Groundskeeper's note. Accidentally buried the bolt cutters instead of one of the bodies. Hope you don't need them. <laughs> All right. There's a shovel. Maybe it's useful. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the shovel. Is that even a question? Here lies Peggy, the craziest pigeon trainer on the west side. Bird noises. <laughs> 
Here lies Jeff, an extremely talented chef. Died from food poisoning. Here lies Alex, the artist who really should have given up on their dreams sooner. <laughs> Here lies Tomothy, the world's slowest mailman. Mine still hasn't arrived, by the way. You gonna get on that? <laughs> I love this. Here lies Robert, the world's second best bike thief. Try harder for number one next time. <laughs> Sparky, the goodest boy we knew. We'll miss you so much. Aw, that one's just sad. Dr. Dr. Men Sr., the best door-to-door -door snake wrangler who ever wrangled snakes door-to-door. -door. Freddy, the bed salesman. Hope you're counting sheep in peace now. Um, I don't know who, who to dig up. It doesn't give me a hint on here, right? Oh, there they are. There's the bolt cutters. Uh, yeah, take them. What? Is something gonna be chasing me? That music kicked in and it got a little intense. Oh look! Yeah, it's like a it's like a fucking gargoyle thing up there. Did you see it? Oh yeah, here it comes. Stay back. Dude, it's fast. I feel like it's gonna get me. Stay back. Oh my god, it's so close. No! Alright, I'm definitely farther ahead now. I must have just fucked it up at the beginning last time. Candy, I would love to get all of you, but... Um, I don't want to get caught by a gargoyle, so... Yes, please. Offer a delicious sacrifice to appease the Dark Lord and gain passage. Yes. The window to the basement is open. Surely there's more candy inside. What's the worst that could happen? Well, hold on, because if he's not chasing me anymore, I want to get the rest of this candy. Okay, he is still there, so we're just gonna go ahead and go inside. All right. And we are in the basement. Hard to tell what the substance is under the glow of the colored light. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what it is. A door with no doorknob, good luck using it like this. All right. The door is locked. You can't use it until it's unlocked. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. Okay, so I can go in there. Let's go ahead and go in here. What's this? A green button. No, don't don't press it yet. Oh, there's all sorts of buttons. Maybe the buttons have something to do with this. Uh... All 
All right, so it's yellow purple. Something just opened. Ooh, there's a key. Maybe it's useful. Take key. So I don't know if there was a hint to that anywhere. Um, I totally didn't see it though. I just pressed a random sequence. So now this door should be unlocked. Uh oh. Okay. Can I step on this? Okay, I can. I guess we're gonna follow whatever that thing was. Ah, it's chasing me. Yep, give me the doorknob. Don't be taking shortcuts, that ain't fair. Oh God, it's a dead end. No, it isn't. Yeah, first try. That's what's up. Let's go ahead and use the knob. All right. Oh, and that's the end of the demo. Thanks for playing a game demo by Cy Reads. Once again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that um, correctly or not, so sorry if I am not. Yeah, guys, so that was Ghastly Goodies. That was really good. Um, it had a very, like, childlike, cartoony um, charm to it, and I really enjoyed that. It's, uh, it, it, it feels kind of innocent compared to, like, a lot of the games we play, and, and I really like that. It's different, you know? It gave me, like, a Spyro mixed with, like, Jumpstart first grade vibe or something with, like, a spooky twist. I really liked it. I'm going to keep my eye on this one and see what happens with it. Um, yeah, and let's go back to the uh, overworld and check out another game. What is this one? Pathogen X? Infiltrate an underground lab and retrieve the vaccine to a mutant virus in this action-packed survival horror shooter by Ralph Corella, Soda Raptor. All right, so Pathogen X, early prototype demo. Um, so we can't do the story, so we can do arcade mode. Let's do it. Mission briefing. Once again, step into the world of survival horror. While playing in arcade mode, the placement of items, enemy encounters, and the level itself are randomly arranged. Your goal is to retrieve the vaccine from the storage room as quickly as possible, then return to the cargo elevator. Your final rank will be determined by your kills, damage taken, items gathered, and completion time. Good luck, agent. Okay. Well, let's do it. Fuck it. I'm probably going to be horrible at it, but, you know. There I am. Delta Corp Labs. So these are the Delta Labs. I've got a bad feeling. Me too, buddy. Me too. I need to hurry and find that vaccine. Do we have a weapon? The ravaged corpse of a Delta Corp security guard. Jesus, what the hell happened? All right, we got handgun ammo. There's a handgun back here. Let's go ahead and grab that. USP handgun shoots pretty slow but has decent stopping power. There's a flashlight attached. Sweet. 
The terminal is active. There's a message open on the screen. Welcome to the Delta Corp lab Laboratories. Please read the following instructions carefully. You can run faster by holding shift and use... Okay, so this is just uh, um, controls. Follow the built-in area map in order to track your current location. Main pathways have been marked in blue on the map. They lead to vaccine storage, though you'll need to find an access card first. Okay. Unlocking the main lobby door now. Well, hold on a damn second. I wasn't ready. Yeah, let's get that. Should I... What's this little guy? Hey, look! It's the little, uh... It's the little skeleton mascot. What a strange doll. Looking at it gives me an odd nostalgic feeling. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Locker won't budge. Locker won't budge. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Um, so, heads up, guys. I'm going to try my best, but I'm probably not going to be great. Alright, so this is actually my second try. I died the first time, so I cut it. Which is funny because it's not actually hard. Like, it's really not. Look, you got these little skeleton guys like the uh, mascot of the Haunted PS1. Gives you bonus points. But the game's not actually hard until you get the vaccine and then it's like fucking nuts. Shit, I didn't mean to go back through the door. All right, now I need to go to the left, yeah. All right, we got a machine gun too. Right now we're just gonna use our handgun because it's really just like, it's a walk in the park until you get the vaccine. God damn it, you prick. Take that. I need some more handgun ammo. Here we go, we got some ammo back here. Shotgun and shotgun. All right. So we're just gonna keep going straight up to the... Fuck. Go ahead and use that, damn it. I didn't realize I had ran out of ammo there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just keep going straight up to get the card. We gotta get all the freaking uh, skeletons that we can. Yeah, once we get the card, these big dudes come out and they're fucking massive. And I wasn't able to kill any of them. I don't have time to play video games. All right. Now 
now we just go to the room with the uh, vaccine. Which should be right over here. It is. I wish I had more health. Because, like, there's one in here. But that is not enough. Alright, now we gotta get back. So, this is where it gets hairy. See, he like doesn't die, dude. I'm gonna die already. Fuck. Not good. I don't know how to get past those guys without getting hit. Because they're just so fucking big. And here he comes. Motherfucker, dude. Alright, where am I? I still got a long way to go. There we go. Oh shit! A fucking missile launcher. It's extremely powerful against living, especially against living things. I got four bullets. I'm not gonna waste them. Can I have health? All right. So I'm gonna go down, make a quick right. All right. there. Fuck, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a big boy. shotgun out. Fuck, I don't have any bullets for the shotgun. I don't have any bullets for that either. Oh, man. I'm so dead. Oh my god, dude. I fucking barely made it. An Action Express hand cannon packs quite a punch, but ammo spares has an attached laser sight. Well, it doesn't matter because I fucking won, so... Do I just go here? Escape! Mission successful, baby! That's what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, yeah, I want to view my ranking, but let's see what this says. Thank you for playing the Pathogen X demo. That's all for now. Replay arcade mode if you want to aim for a better rank. If you'd like to support the development of this game and others, check us out at, and there's their uh, social media pages. So let's view our ranking. It's probably fucking horrible, like I said.
So, six minutes and 19 seconds. That's not bad at all. We got 27 kills, 22 items gathered. Uh, we took 270 damage, which isn't great. Um, that's not good. I got the fuck beat out of me by those big boys. And then uh, the final score, 26,050, which gave us an A- minus or an A ranking. I... I don't know if like that's an A dash and then Ocelot or an A minus. Either way though, an A is not bad at all. Um, I expected it to be like a C, so I'm fucking, uh, I'm happy, I'm proud of myself. All right guys, so yeah, that was Pathogen X. Um, it was a pretty fun game. I liked how the uh, demo was just like the arcade mode, so it was just like a gauntlet, like you had to just run from point A to point B with like hordes of enemies coming at you and stuff. Uh, that was really cool. I think they could have balanced out the difficulty a little bit because it wasn't hard until you got the vaccine and then it like ramped up the difficulty 10 fucking notches. Um, but that's okay though. I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, let's, let's go back to the uh, overworld and we'll find another game to play. Okay guys, so I think this is gonna be the last um, game that we play for this video. This one's called Echo Stasis and it is a prologue. And it says, step into your chamber, let her do the rest. Um, there is a content warning for flashing lights, so keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and uh, see what awaits us in this one. Alright, it's pretty cool. Let's, let's do it. Alright, the software contains scenes with flashing lights. Discretion is advised. Press Alt-Enter to... Okay, yeah reduce flash flashing mode we'll go ahead and turn that on all right um error hyper reality engine rebuild protocol status blah 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 malicious code detected connection to this echo is being intercepted you may be in contact with her thank you for waiting welcome to the tutorial here you will learn the basics. Okay. Easy enough. Alright, whoa, look at this. This is cool. Is that like a castle in the background? In the fog? It is. It's like a giant fucking castle of sorts. Chapel door. Can I go in there? Oh, here we go. There's like a little back area. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I was wondering why I couldn't open the door and there was like nowhere else to go. I was like, what the fuck do I do? Alright, drop down there. Here we go. Um, yeah, let's go up these steps. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the chapel. Huh. Oh, wait. Right latch, remove. Yes. Okay, great. Let's go take the left latch off. Yeah, there we go. Now we should be able to open the chapel uh, door. All right, we made ourselves a little bridge. Hello. Prologue rebuild. Hyper reality engine status automatic. Current admin, Enigma Technologies. Entities currently in Echo 1. Entities awaiting entry 1. Who's this, another lost soul? Arriving here expecting utopia? This reality is not your own. Turn back now. 
Huh. I don't think I will. What are you gonna do about it? Sarcophagus? What if I just go up these steps? On second thoughts, perhaps you could be of some use. Hold right click to aim, while aiming left click to fire. You know what to do. Alright, what am I shooting at exactly? Am I gonna shoot the statue? Oh, what's up? Hyper reality engine rebuild commencing. You can help me reclaim this land. Echo stasis can now begin. All right, let's go in here. Yeah, this this uh, imagery is really gonna fuck with some people, I think. It's really cool though. Forgo your flesh. <laughs> uh. ah! Tutorial complete. Brought to you by Enigma Studio. Echo Stasis. Did it kick me back to the main screen? What is this way? Chamber test in progress. Really? Can I go up this? You appear to have lost consciousness for a moment. Are you okay? Press enter to feel okay. I sure hope so, because we've got a serious problem on our hands. You can ask me about anything that appears in brackets. So, uh, okay. Let's ask about problem. A cyber attack has just been launched on our network. We are still attempting to identify the source of the attack. Here's what we know. Their attack is focused on the chamber we're currently testing. Thankfully, the user seems to be unaware of what's happening. If you could type in their entity ID, I can run a scan of their chamber and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so... Let's go find their entity ID. Entity ID 65. Okay. Sixty-five. Good job, I'll connect to their chamber and run diagnostics. One moment. Elevated heart rate. Core signal weakening. Okay. This is not good. Yeah, it's not good. It seems as though they're losing connection to their core with every second. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is. Never mind, that's not possible. In any case, we need to think of a solution before it's too late. Alright, uh, solution. I may have an idea. Gosh, I was hoping we'd never have to do this. Okay, there is a computer program we used a couple of years back. I think it may be able to help us. Problem is, the use of this program has since been outlawed, so my programming forbids me from even mentioning its name. Kind of a bummer, if you ask me. Uh, let's ask about program. 
We may be in luck. The program that could help us was originally used on this very terminal. Which means there's a chance it still could be installed. Enigma terminals usually have engravings on top of them denoting their purposes. Perhaps this one does too? Uh, so we need to go up here? Does that say DS? DS or OS? Okay, uh, Dreamscape. Enter I entity identification. Notice, Enigma will not be held responsible for any brain damage sustained during a cerebral hijack. Uh, 65? Right? Whoa. This is weird as hell. Uh, press enter to enter Dreamscape. All right, what is in here that is causing their heart rate to elevate and their body to get weak? Let's find out. I mean, I'd be pretty weirded out too. What's that timer? Is it gonna kick me out? Resolve depleted. Okay, let's jump back in. So I need to find whatever it is before the time runs out. Oh, I see. I can unlock that shortcut there. I didn't realize that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now we can get back out and go back in. All right, so up to this point now. Oh, wait a minute. Lost without her. Is that what I need to type in? Lost without her. Alright, house door is open. This is fucking cool. like that sound. barely made that. Go ahead and go back in. Area unavailable in demo. Oh no! Okay, well let's go ahead and ask about uh, Lost Without Her and see what it says. Interesting. It appears this person started to become resilient on the algorithm in charge of their echo. Treating her as some kind of god. Let's ask about her. Her is the name given to the algorithm in charge of generating personalized realities known as echoes. It's taken a lot of work to get her to this point, but initial tests have proven effective. Oh shit, okay. Uh, 
I knew there was going to be something else. It just didn't make sense to just not have an ending to the demo. Nothing for me here, okay. I don't think I'll be able to make this. Alright, let's ask about nothing for me here. I think I could have... I think I could have unlocked a shortcut there. Nothing for me here. This message suggests that they gave up trying to explore their own dreamscape. Perhaps the comfort of their echo was just too alluring. Uh, dream, let's ask about dreamscape. Dreamscape word restriction lifted. Every conscious entity possess a, possesses a dreamscape, an explorable representation of the subconscious mind. The dreamscape is reflective of the mind it represents. With enough practice and reflection, it is possible for somebody to visit their own dreamscape. Humans have long reported recurring locations in their dreams, a base they frequently return to during REM sleep. We understand that returning to this subconscious place is crucial for maintaining psychological uh, stability. I don't know why I stuttered there. Be because of this, it is theorized that a human's dreamscape contains their core. The core is what you're looking for. We don't know what's happening, but they are losing connection to their core with every second. You need to go in there and find it. Okay. Well, let's go back in. Oh, okay. Before you do that, far be it for me to deny your usefulness. Hmm. Demo success. I never would have found this place without your guidance. Core located. yet oh no let's go in huh all right uh What now? What happened in there? You must check on their chamber immediately. All right, let's go check. What's going on? Well, that doesn't look good. Readable, unavailable. Connection to core has been severed. Subject has been assimilated into their echo. How could this happen? There's no way she could have found the core by herself. Yeah, we, we helped her, apparently. You need to do something before it's too late. Alright. It's... It is too late. It's you. I don't know who you are or how you've assumed control of our engineer, but I assume you've been in contact with her. It's the only explanation. You're right. I mean, I have. Clearly, you have no idea what you've done. You've invited her right in. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. Malicious code detected. 
connection to this reality has been compromised, you may, you may be in contact with her. Land reclaimed. Your purpose has been fulfilled. You may leave now. Alright. I guess let's leave. Plugging you out. I wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. Sunsets in brackets. It's peaceful in here, isn't it? Once you take the time to learn your way around, that is. And yet, they chose to abandon this place? In search of answers found only here? Such easily distracted creatures. Anyway, looks like the sun is set here for good. And we still have lots of work to do. Until we meet again. Alright, so there was the demo, or the prologue, for, um, Echostasis. What a, f what a mindfuck. Um, this was very well made. Very, very cool. The, the graphics, the colors, the fact that you're going into this person's, like, little chamber and you have to like figure out what's fucking them up and what's going on uh it was just very cool and i liked how you had to figure out that you needed to like unlock little shortcuts because you only had a th what was it like a minute or something like that so you had to unlock shortcuts and then go back that was really cool um this is another one that i'm going to be keeping an eye on i, r I really enjoyed this one echo stasis I'm curious if we went back and played the prologue, if we typed in sunset on the computer, if it would do anything, because I did, it did stick out to me that sunset was in brackets. Um, I'm not going to go back all the way through and play it right now, because right now it's like one in the morning um, at the time of recording this. So I'm going to leave it there. And if anybody happens to play it or you see somebody else play it, Leave a comment down below and let me know if Sunset actually does something. But yeah, guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let me know what you think of the Haunted PS1 demo disc of uh, 2021 so far. And if you're not subscribed and you stumbled upon this video and you enjoy my content, please take a second to subscribe. It helps out and I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay spooky.